Okay, I just received the replacement for this camera. This is the 1080p version of the camera that I just got, and this is what I'll be replacing. And it's very similar camera, but 4K UHD. And by the way, don't skimp. Buy the Extreme Pro card, a nice fast card, because otherwise it's not going to handle recording the 4K at the bit rates that this camera will record. So make sure you get a nice fast professional card. There's the battery that it uses, and I'm going to breeze through this unboxing because you don't really need to see that stuff, but we're going to get right to the camera here in a second. And again, very high quality piece for consumer camcorder, nice compact size, easy to hold, relatively easy to keep steady. My initial footage, which I'm going to roll in here next, is a little bit shakier than I thought it would be. I need to do a lot more experimenting with this camera before I can give all my conclusions. But you'll take a look at the footage at the end and draw your own conclusions. By the way, I'm shooting this part with my FZ1000 in 4K, which is a $900 camera. In some places you can get it for less. There it is. Fantastic camera. It's going to take a lot for this Sony to unseat that camera as my main go-to camera. This FZ1000 has the one-inch sensor in it, which Sony claimed this other camera had, but of course it doesn't. It has a much smaller sensor. Uh, and I have another video on their website. There, by the way, here's some footage I'm rolling in. And this is these are all just the factory settings, 4K at 100 megabits a second. And that's the highest quality. And, and again, no tweaking, nothing in post. And it's a real overcast, almost dark, uh, 6 o'clock p.m., getting dark at 6.30 here. So not a whole lot of light. But that's fully zoomed in. And then you're going to see here, I'm going to zoom back out from this light so you can see kind of like the zoom range. More coming, so stay tuned. I'll have a full review coming in a few days. Thanks for watching.